When you start working with Python, it can easily become very frustrating. First, you have to install Python itself, and sometimes it doesn't work right away. Then you need to add extra tools called packages, which things that help you to analyze data, create visualizations, and so on, but they don't always install easily. Some packages need other packages to work, and if something is missing or the versions doesn't match, it can break everything. Figuring out what went wrong is hard, and the error messages can be confusing. You also need to learn how to use an ID, which is like a special notebook for writing Python. There are many different ones like PyCharm and VS Code, and they all have buttons and settings that take time to understand. On top of that, even a tiny mistake, like missing a letter or adding an extra space, can stop your code from working. It can feel like nothing makes sense at first, and this is generally what I had to go through when I started working with Python. Now, in this video, I want to show you one way to make all of these pain points disappear so that you can learn or use Python in a a way simpler way without getting blocked or having to smash your laptop on a wall because you're just getting those terrible error messages on your screen. And so the tool that I wanted to show you today is called Cliprun. You can access it from the link in my description and it works completely for free, which is obviously a big reason why I love it. Also the reason why I'm suggesting all of my master course students to use it and also the reasons why I'm partnering with them for today's video. Now the beauty of it is that you don't have to install anything in your laptop because it works directly in your browser as a Chrome extension. And I will show you now how to quickly get started with it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do to set it up is uh, going Google and uh, write clip run and then click on the first result. I'm going to click on add to Chrome again, add to Chrome, add the extension, and now the download will start. I'm just going to wait for the download to finish. And once that is done, I'm just going to add my extensions and just pin it on top of my browser. And then as soon as I click on it, it will show up on the right hand side of my screen. And that's it. In just a few seconds, we have everything set up for clip run to run on our browser. Okay, so let's start now by testing clip run and write some Python. So who will game that we can already build is a number guess a game and uh, we can write it straight away. So I'm going to do import and then random. Then I'm going to do number equal to random and I'm going to call round int and I'm going to do a number from 1 to 10. Then I'm going to do while true and then we define the guess which is integer and we are going to take it from the input from the user and in the screen they're going to see guess number from 1 to 10. Then we're going to do if the guess is equal to the number we are going to print success message so in this case i'm going to do you got it then we're going to do break and if they don't we're going to print too high this one only if the guess is higher than the number else we are going to print too low okay so let's see if it's all good i think i miss a semicolon here so let's test the code now so i'm gonna click on run and then i see the message on the screen so guess a number from one to ten let's start with two it says too low in the terminal so let me do four let me do seven let me do nine okay you got it, it was nine so perfect we just guessed the number that was nine and the code ran smoothly in the browser and by the way as you can see i'm using the random library but i didn't need to install it and this is because clip run has already all the main Python libraries installed by default so I don't need to worry about it I can just write my code and test it right away as I show you just now now let's go one step further and uh, let's say that we want to test a web scraper which in case you don't know is just a way to write some code to get some data from a website and for this example let's say that I want to get the uh, last six months price point for Bitcoin I'm just gonna remove this code that we wrote before and I'm just gonna copy paste this code I'm not gonna go through this whole code but basically I'm importing request pandas and date time and then i'm gonna get the bitcoin prices from this website that is called coinjacko.com and i define the fetch bitcoin prices function and also the price table and if i run the code here i have the date and the price of bitcoin for the last six months and everything is saved on a table but now let's go even one step further uh, because obviously this uh, table is cool but then i don't really see the trends for the bitcoin price and i want to actually create something very similar to what i see on google so let me add this other part of the code which is the visualization and we're going to use matplotlib again pretty simple code we are just going to put some label for the x-axis the title and just create a chart based on the table that we already have so i'm going to run this code here and as you can see here my chart looks pretty much the same as the bitcoin price chart that you see from 
from Google. So again, I didn't have to install anything. I'm just writing some Python directly on the browser. No need to install anything on my laptop. So pretty cool. Now let's go one step further and actually use ChatGPT to improve our chart even more. So I just uh, asked to improve our code and this is the code that is suggesting. So I'm just gonna select the whole code from ChatGPT and then something else that I wanted to show you, I can right click and then go straight to run Python from here. And as you can see on the right hand side is running the Python code straight from ChatGPT, no copy paste needed. And actually the code is working. So if I check the code, it creates the same chart, but this time using Plotly instead of uh, a Matplotlib, which makes the chart even better because you know I can interact with it. I have the, the tooltip. I can zoom in on a specific part or just go back to reset the axis. And yeah, I just like more this kind of formatting with the area chart instead of just a simple line. Okay, so the other thing that we can test using Clipran is actually working with uh, APIs. And in case you don't know, using an API simply means that I'm gonna retrieve information from a third party website. So in this case, uh, an idea would be to create an app to forecast the weather. And I'm gonna use this uh, website, it's called openweathermap.org. So they have a long documentation on how to use their API, how to get their data, from this type of website. So the thing that I did was simply copy pasting all of this information into ChatGPT and then asking ChatGPT to create a simple visualization for the weather forecast in London. And so this is the all the code that he creates. So I'm just gonna copy paste the code into Clipran and then I'm gonna run it. Obviously I had to get their API key from the uh, weather uh, website. And this is a very cool visualization that he creates for again, predicting tomorrow's weather in London. And uh, you will see that in yellow is the daylight, whereas the rest is nighttime. And actually shows me that tomorrow in London at around 12.30 or 1 p.m. we will actually have 15 degrees, pretty record for London. And then the next thing that I can do is actually saving this clip. And I'm gonna call it weather forecast app, and then I'm gonna save it. And then in here, as you can see, I saved my clip. I can go back to it whenever I want. And then the next thing that I can do, if you see this uh, clock icon here, I can schedule this clip to run at a certain frequency. So I can say, let's say that I want to run it daily at 9 a.m. and then I'm gonna click on save and basically Clipran will automatically run this Python script without me doing anything which is again super cool if I want to build an app that runs automatically without me staying on my laptop. And that's it I just showed you how to use Clipran to do most of what Python can do for free right from your browser. If you notice we run some pure Python code on the browser we also did some data analysis and visualizations we also did some web scraping from Amazon website we used an API to build a a simple weather forecast app and we also managed to schedule our script to run automatically which by the way it's the only feature of Clipran that requires payment whereas all the other features that I show you are totally free hopefully in this video I made it clear how powerful this tool is and why I'm suggesting everyone to use it again you can check it from my link in the description and as always if you found at least one useful information in this video make sure to like and subscribe to my channel so that I can help you even further in the next videos I will also leave here in the screen another video that I made on how much Excel, SQL, Python and Tableau you should know to get a job since it's a video that you guys are liking a lot and while well, enjoy the rest of your day, ciao for now and see you in the next one.